History is in the making. This is the first time that both the men and women's U.S. Opens are being held in consecutive weeks at the same venue here at Piners Number 2. And for the ladies, it's an unusual and unique experience for them getting to practice alongside the men and perhaps watch some golf from inside the ropes. This is a huge moment in women's golf to be at the same time as the men and to be at Pinehurst number two and it's really awesome. It's cool to see how like young Jordan Spieth is so I'll probably go out and try and watch him just because like the young generation. So you like, are you a big Jordan Spieth fan? Yes. <laughs> I just feels like totally I'm spectator. Oh my gosh, it's Jordan Spieth and oh my gosh, there's Jordan, I mean the Lord of Macaulay. I'm just here for the spectator. <laughs> I love watching all the guys hit the ball and I can learn so much from their putting and their short game and plus um, just to see how, they, how they're playing this golf course and to see how it's actually playing out there. Welcome to the final round of the U.S. Open. Conditions are quite similar to the way they were yesterday. It's firm, it's fast, the greens are running at 12 and a half on the stint meter, the pins are in brutal locations, but the USGA was a little bit more generous with them. And they also moved the tees forward on some of the reachable par fours, making them a risk reward. Martin Keimer, of course, has a five shot lead. The last time a player blew a lead to that large at the U.S. Open was in 1919. Keimer is on the verge of equaling the career number of majors as Germany's greatest golfer, Bernard Langer, before the age of 30. This is the 114th U.S. Open.